Hey guys, Jarek the Game and Dragon here, and if you're a PC gamer currently using Fraps to record gameplay off your PC, this is what I want you to do. Delete that piece of shit off your computer, because you don't need it anymore. So I've used Fraps for a very long time, and um, it, it works, but it has some obvious issues. The biggest issue being frames per second. It loves to lag your computer, it loves to drop your frames per second, it likes to make everything very chuggy. It's a very hardware intensive program which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. So it the biggest thing lately for me is that it doesn't like Battlefield 3 at all. It'll completely lock up my computer 5 to 10 seconds at a time. And uh, I just got absolutely fed up with it and I decided, you know, I'm going to check out one of these other programs that someone in the comments suggested me. So like I said, someone in the comments suggested this program to me. I don't remember who it was. Whoever it is, thank you, because this program is freaking sweet. Uh, this program is called DX Story. Now, this gives you a lot more advantages over uh, over Fraps. The biggest advantage being you can play at 60 frames a second and record at 30 frames a second. The frames per second with what you're recording has nothing to do with what you're playing. Like I said, right now it's running at 60 and I'm recording at 30. So it gives you two numbers on the top left. It's telling me right now 55 to 60, that's whatever I'm seeing, and right next to it it says 30, saying I'm recording at a steady 30 frames a second, which is great. Um, so yeah, that's the biggest advantage over Fraps. That alone should make you go download it. The fact that it doesn't cause you to lag while you're playing the game is a huge advantage over Fraps. Um, just like Fraps, it allows you to record from an external mic uh, gives you even more freedom than that. I mean, you could you could even record from like five mics at a time if you wanted to. It, it gives you a lot of different uh, options to record from a uh, from different sound cards and everything. It gives you a lot of options to record externally. So that's how I'm recording right now. I'm using my mic for the live commentary with the program. So I, I'm using nothing but DX Story right now to record everything. So another plus is that live commentary, just like Fraps, except for even more options for that. Another really cool option this game or this program gives you is that I can record in 720p even though my LCD natively is 1080p. It'll downscale it for you and it won't look bad. See, whenever I upload a video in 720p, I basically record it in 1080p and then in Sony Vegas I render it in 720. And this looks fine and most people won't even notice, but I notice it myself. Everything kind of looks slightly blurry. Whenever you kill someone, the number, the, the words that says you killed so and so is, it doesn't look that good. Uh, you simply notice that that's not the native resolution. But with this program, you can be recording in 720p but playing in 1080p. So natively, when you upload it to YouTube, that 720p video is going to look a lot more crisp. So that's something, another big plus about this, uh, about this program. Absolutely awesome. Um, another plus, depending on who you are, is that Fraps, anyone that's used Fraps knows that Fraps records in 4 gigabyte files. So if you do a 20 minute long video, it'll split that up into like 15 separate 4 gigabyte files. And a lot of video editors don't like this, Sony Vegas being one, and it causes a, a bit of issues. This program, DX Story, records it in one large file. Now the file is still large because it's recording directly what you're doing and it doesn't have much time to fully compress it, um, but it, it's one file so that'll be easier on you for editing for the most part depending on who you are. So yeah, DX Story. Uh, go check it out if you're a PC gamer that likes to record. Uh, link down below to the actual program where you can download it. There is torrents of it out there, not condoning that or anything, but uh, Go check out those torrents too if you really, really want it and you don't have the money to pay for it. Honestly, myself, I believe this should just come with Windows. It shouldn't, like, I don't understand why it doesn't. But yeah, DX Story, totally worth checking it out. A lot better than Fraps. You won't need Fraps anymore. Alright, so quick update about the program as I'm editing the video. Unfortunately, DX Story doesn't work for recording your desktop, so I'm going to have to use Fraps to do that. Um, but uh, another really cool thing about DX Story, remember when I said you can record live commentary? Uh, basically, let me show you real quick. So, recording from a sound card as one, and then also recording from my desktop microphone as the second audio setting. Well, the cool thing about this is you can add really as many as you want. Actually, maximum is eight. You can add about eight of these. And each one you add, when you put it into Sony Vegas, makes its own timeline. Whereas Fraps didn't do that. When you put a video, let me show you. When you put a uh, Fraps video 
into here and you're using live commentary, it's just one audio file. The, uh, the audio of the actual computer, your sound card, and your microphone is thrown into the same timeline. But with DX Story, it's thrown into two totally different timelines. So what you're seeing here is, here's the video timeline right here, and him, here's the audio timeline for the video game, and then here is the sound for my microphone. So it splits it up. So say if the video game is a little bit too loud, I can just turn that down a little bit, and then you can hear me and the video game won't be as loud. So that's something that's really, really cool about DX Story. That's something that Fraps didn't do. Uh, so really, once again, go check out Go to uh, go check out DX Story. It's completely worth it. It's a lot better than Fraps is in every way possible. All right, so end of video. I'm really happy with this program now, and uh, see you guys next time.